703, we're going to open up the August 14, 2019 meeting of the uh, Town of Wilmington Board of Appeals. The uh, first case on the docket is a continued case, case 919, map 62, parcel 13, Michael Welch, uh, 22 Grant Street. It was continued from the July 2019 meeting to acquire a special permit in accordance with 6.1.6.4 to extend a non-conforming structure. Good evening. Good evening. Why don't you let us know where we're at and uh, sure. whether we're ready to proceed on this matter. Um, I brought a package in, but it was too late to proceed in the last meeting. So um, you guys want to comment from planning and engineering, I think. Do we have those, Kelly? We did, yeah. Uh, before, you, before you move forward with anything. Why don't I read those? Why don't I read? Did I give you my last copy of the uh, planning board? Oh, um, Tony, the planning, yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to read it. Just since apparently we were continuing it to find out what the planning board's take on it was, why don't I start it off by reading the planning board's recommendation into the record. At its meeting on Tuesday, August 6, 2019, on this particular case, the planning board voted to recommend as follows. Upon motion duly made and seconded, it was unanimously voted that the foundation of the proposed house as shown on the plans appears to extend beyond the 6.9 foot proposed front setback with a bump out. The proposed front stairs are very close to the street and the dimensions on the floor plans do not appear to be consistent or accurate. The Board of Appeals should determine the actual dimensions of the proposed house and the proposed setback from Patterson Street. The Board of Appeals should also consider how the proposed dwelling will be accessed by the driveway. So why don't you address those concerns because it's probably the best way to go about it right now. Can I have a copy of the Oh, list? you haven't seen this? No, I, I, I don't think it's sent, sent out to us. We don't, the first time I ever hear it is at the meeting. Right. Okay, well, this is your only copy. You can take a look at it, but make sure that Kelly gets it back for the record, too. Um, That's the first one. Up the top here? It's, yeah, the first one. Yeah, I don't think the first. I don't agree with the first statement that it was six point. We're closer to the existing house to the plot to the lot line. Well, the Unless plan, the plan should read right. Yeah, I mean, not uh, free. Unless they're referring to the stairs, which don't don't fall in the, the required setbacks, <coughs> or don't need to fall in the required setbacks. Um. So, did the Board of Appeals uh, vote for approval on this? Or we we know we haven't done anything. No, we're uh, waiting. Uh, to uh, I, I'm sorry, I meant the uh, planning board. Did the planning board? Uh, they didn't say approval or disapproval. It looks like they had some concerns right. that they that they asked us to be mindful of. Shouldn't they have voted? Shouldn't they have voted for? Approval and non-approval, like the other the other cases. Or? I can't tell. The planning board does their own thing. They they basically make a recommendation. They've they've oftentimes told us to approve stuff, and I haven't. And they've told us to not approve things, and I have. So, I guess they're giving us their take on it. I mean, it should be probably considered, but I don't think we're, it's not mandated that they have to give us an up or down. In reference to the planning board's first statement that we're 6.9 feet, <clears throat> the existing house is 5.1 feet off of Patterson, and we are now 6.9 feet off of Patterson. What? This one is... There's, a, there's an update. Sorry. No, there's a new one there. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I never got that. Oh. I never got that. No, I don't, never got that. that. I have the old one. I'll, I'll take a look at it. I'll, I'll use Tony's. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's got it all straightened out for me. So we need to say this planning board saying it's, it looks like to be more than six point nine. Well, I'll, I'll with regard to the. Why don't we do it this way? You disagree with the planning board's recommendation on the first notation. Why don't we discuss that amongst the board? Does anyone want to discuss the planning board's first recommendation? 
Well, the statement was that it's less than 6.9 feet. It's 6.9 feet. It says it on the plan. Okay. So you're saying that the plan is accurate? I'm saying that the site plan reflects 6.9 feet. Right. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I mean, it's certified, so. And, that, and that's more on the proposal than the existing structure now, correct? The existing is 5.1. Because they, they, they put it, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll lay my cards on the table right now. If you, if you look at the existing structure, the existing structure is skewed on the site. The back corner is 5.1 feet. There's no dimension on the front corner, which is further away from the street than 5.1 feet. I would have to guess at what it is, but I'm gonna guess it might even be more than 6.9 feet. I think the house is too big. I think the set of drawings that was presented was a 26 foot wide house that got scribbled out and changed to a 28 foot wide house. So I think the house is too big for the lot. There was a one story bungalow on the site. We're putting back a two, sto two plus story house. I think the, the planning board's initial comments that were made back on May 8th state. Additionally, the proposed structure is significantly higher than the existing structure, creating a large impediment to sight lines and imposing on the corner. To improve, uh, to provide better sight lines and comply with the street, corner setbacks, section 5.3.1, 25-foot triangle, the proposed house should be moved farther back from Grant Street, which it was. Is, 20 feet is, rec is recommended to provide visibility that will be more, not more detrimental to the neighborhood. As an additional note, average front setbacks should not be used where there is only one adjacent dwelling for calculation. So I feel like the building should be pulled further back off Patterson Street and should be smaller. That's my opinion. Okay. And it's probably not gonna change. Okay, anyone else? What would happen if he made his front of John Grant Street? Pardon me? If the frontage stood, you're, you're right now your front door is going to be in Patterson, correct? Yes, he pulled it. He pulled it all the way back off of Grant Street. It's I'm, I'm 45 feet off of Grant Street right yeah. now. It's right. way back off Grant Street. That that actually meets zoning without any. Uh, the front does. The, yeah, that I get front it. does. Yep. So yes. how much would you say, Tony? I mean, obviously he's only got 50 feet. Okay, I'm so not if he moves it back, I don't want to design the house. No, all right. I feel I agree that the house is too imposing. Yeah, it's it's too close to the setback. I agree with the comments that the that the steps are practically right on the street. I I just think the house is too big. It's too wide, and I think there should be a smaller house on the lot. That's my opinion. And then I actually I do have another question too. Um, so on the plans that were submitted. Um, I noticed that the second floor has what looks like used to be a third bedroom that was changed to an office. Is that because the septic system is only sized for two bedrooms? The existing house is a two bedroom, so we can only build a two bedroom. Perfect. So then there's no reason that this house needs to be this big. So I, I stand by my comment that the house can be much smaller. I, I would have to agree with that, especially because you got 26, 26 26.8 and 31, and then you're going to um, 28 to 36 for a two-bedroom. It just it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't need to be that big for this lot. To tear something down that's so much smaller than this, I'm not saying you have to put the same size house up. I agree you can put something bigger up. This is just, in my opinion, it's too big, and it only, by, by, by your admission, you can only put a two-bedroom house here, so the house doesn't need to be that big. Uh, it just doesn't. Okay, anybody else before I open up the public hearing, or continue the public hearing? Yeah, I have, I have a couple of questions. So it says <clears throat> it appears to extend beyond 6.9, so other than appearance, is there anything that says that it exceeds the 6.9? The drawing says 6.9. So um, when it says it appears, and then you've indicated, Tony, that it, it appears, I mean, can we no, get I out said, of the appearance? I said, I said that there's a dimension that says 6.9. Yeah. So 
I think he was accepting that. I, I think it. He I'm, said he says it's still based on the information we have. It looks like it's six point nine, right? right? And then the proposed front stairs are very close to the street. So is that and is that a non-compliance issue? The front stairs are allowed to go into the setback, which no, the whole house is in the setback. But stairs, <coughs> as long as they're not covered, my understanding is they're appeared, They're allowed to go into the setback. So. I, should you put stairs that go right up to a street? I, I don't know if that's if that's good, if that's a good. No, I don't, I, I'm not. Aesthetic. I'm not concerned whether it's good or bad. I'm asking: Is there anything that says that you can't have the front stairs very close to the street? Is my question. Uh, I would have to defer to the planning board for that. I don't think there's anything in the zoning that says stairs okay. aren't in zoning. Yeah, it, stairs, the don't stairs don't, don't count in setbacks. Unless there's a, unless my understanding is unless there's a roof over it. So right. if you have a covered front yeah. entry, yeah. it's considered part of the structure, and then you have to abide by the setbacks. The the landing has to abide by the setbacks, but I believe the stairs, can, the steps themselves, can still extend into right. the setback. And then finally, the dimensions on the floor plan do not appear to be consistent and accurate. My opinion on that is the plan used to be a 26 foot house, and the overall dimensions were changed to 28 foot wide. Well, so that's a change. That doesn't. That's not inconsistent. Or well, it is. If you add up the dimensions, if you were to, if you were to, to do a little math and add these dimensions up, some of them add up, some of them don't add up. But right. this was a this was a 26 foot wide house that they modified to make it two feet wider. So that's I maybe that's what the planning board. I found that out on my well, own just by looking at the drawings. Maybe the so, planning board. Uh, so I, mean, I, I asked the applicant, are you saying that these are accurate drawings, or do you need to go back and look at them again, or what? No, the, the drawing, the exterior perimeter of the house is going to be what we propose, 26 by 28 by 36. 28 by, 28 by 36, which matches the plot plan. Um, the interior guts of the house, if some of the measurements don't match up, the Yes, it was definitely a modified plan. There's no doubt of that. But all plans are modified at some point. So but is, I, is I, it modified, and the result is that the, the actual drawings are in, inaccurate? Are the, are the drawings accurate? The drawings are accurate. Yeah. The new so ones. The new. Yes. No, yeah. he's, he's now talking about the, the actual architectural drawings. Oh, oh now. I see. That's what he's referring to. The, are the drawings? Yeah, well, I, I would say the yes. As far as I know, that they're okay. accurate, unless an interior wall didn't get mocked correctly. So you have mentioned, Tony, that that's not the case, right? All I said was that, in my opinion, this was a 26-foot wide house that was changed to 28-foot wide, and the few dimensions were changed to accommodate that. So that's, that's, exactly what yeah, that's pretty clear to me. I'm glad it's clear to you. Okay, I have nothing else. Okay, Ray, would you care to have any questions or comments? All right, then I'm going to um, can open up the continued public hearing. If anybody wishes to be heard on this uh, application, please stand, give us your name and address, and uh, fire, fire away. Uh, Thanks, Jack sir. Keating, 20 Grant Street, right next door. And I just agree that it's, it's just a, a really tiny lot. It's all ledge. It's not, you know, it's... Uh, you know, I just can't see a house that large going in that lot. You know, I just don't know how he's going to do all the grading. And I'm just worried about water and, you know, just everything that comes with something that huge. It's just a little house that's there now. And now he's going to push it way back, and evidently he's going to have the driveway, which is right next to mine, which is, you know, probably three feet lower than his front yard. And he's going to put a septic tank there, and then he's going to build this huge house. It's just, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's, uh, I don't think it's good for the neighborhood either. All right, thank you, sir. Anybody else wish to be heard? Okay. Uh, well, hold on. I'm, I'm, we're, we're going to, I'm going to make sure I want to get everybody that wants to be heard from the public. Anybody else? Going once, going twice, gone. Public hearing is now closed. We'll come back to the board for any further comment, questions, so or deliberation. Positively. I think what we have on this application, and it's a first, is we have a plan that shows the septic system, that shows grading on the site, that actually is complete. When the, when the applicant first came in, the house was on the front of the site with no septic design. Obviously, 
I'm guessing that the septic couldn't be put back here, so they had to flip the site. In retrospect, I think Ray has said a number of times, we sh and, and I agree with him, these small lots that are difficult to build on really shouldn't be even considered until you get to this point where you can see where the house is going to be positioned, what elevation it's going to be at, and where the septic system is going to be. Because I think all of that comes into uh, our, our um, assessment of whether or not this is a more or less detrimental proje project for that neighborhood. Had we approved the house at this location and it got moved to this location, that's, that's we approved, we, we would have approved something that actually didn't get built. So I think that, you know, this is a good, I, I, I'm thankful that we do have this to look at because it really shows a better picture of what the final project is going to be. So, um, I'll be it. All right. Um, anybody else have any comments at this time? Because I'm going to go back to the applicant to give any final summation before I entertain any motion. Do you have anything to say, uh, Mr. Welch, about <clears throat> anything that was discussed here tonight, the planning board recommendations, or anything you want before we sure. move on? Sure. Well, I, I don't want to move to a vote if I think I'm going to not get a, a positive vote. Um, but the house has to come down. It's 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 in disrepair. You know, whenever we can re rehab a house and keep it, we do. But there's just nothing there. There's no. So. Um, and I respect the neighbors thinking that the house is too big. So um, while I'm listening to all the, the concerns, I think I have three major concerns. This front stairs that face Patterson, if I, if I put those in the front of the house, you know, um, at the end of my speech here, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna wanna continue, but if I move the stairs to, to the front of the house facing Grant Street, um, if I build the house that's 26 by 32, which is the existing footprint basically, uh, a little smaller in one direction, a little longer in another direction. So square it off to 2632, or that footprint that's there, and and set that footprint within that footprint that I I proposed back there. Um, and, and correct again that the house has to be set back because we did hit ledge out back, so the septic has to move out front. So I, if I rebuilt that footprint in the new location. Um, the, the other concern, too, is if I rebuild that footprint and maintain the 15-foot setback from the neighbor at 20, I think it is, um, <clears throat> I still have to encroach a lot on Patterson. The other option is I could pull off of Patterson more and keep that existing non-conforming, like where the deck is, say, um, <coughs> you know, and hug over to that lot line more. So, you know, um, so it looks... You know, just, and then the parking along the driveway, maybe move the driveway to the backside, which I don't think is a Board of Appeals thing, but if I can do that to accommodate, make the neighbor happier, happy. Are you thinking of moving the house forward to Grand Street? Well, I can't, I don't think I can move it forward at all, but within that 28 by 36 foot area, I can obviously fit a 26 by 32 foot box, which is the same footprint as existing. But where did you just say you want the driveway to come in from? Patterson now? Yeah, put it behind Patterson, behind the house, which is. I, I don't. I I don't necessarily have a comment on on the driveway. Yeah. Um, you know, that's that's then, really logistics for you. I just I just think that the house. You know, you said. 26 by 32. I don't necessarily have an issue with the length of the house. I have an issue with the proximity to Patterson Street. And, you know, I, I'm not throwing numbers out there. I'm not saying 26 feet is the right number. I'm not saying 20 feet is the right number. Right. I just think to build a two bedroom house, um, I don't think the house needs to be nearly as big as it is. And I think it can be considerably smaller. And I'm more concerned about the width of the house, which is, you know, as you narrow the house, you bring the height of the house down, you bring the scale of it down. Um, it, gives a, it gives a buffer to Patterson. You could probably keep the stairs on Patterson if you pulled it back far enough. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, my, that's, that's my opinion. I mean, getting back on the driveway, if he's facing what I'm seeing here, Grand Street, the neighbor to the left, I would think the relief would be where the driveway is because 
this seems to be a retaining wall keeping the septic in, so I would think that driveway would be at a natural grade to the abutter, to the left, rather than, I don't know what you would, you know, you would build up that driveway side if you replaced the driveway to the rear by Patterson. I don't know. I, I seem to like where the driveway is now. I said I had yeah. no issue with the driveway because yeah. I, I, I think the last thing I'd want if I was a neighbor was to have a three or four foot high retaining wall right on my property right. line. So I think that it's it's the driveway. I, like I said, I don't have I don't have issue with it. I think it is a nice buffer to the neighbor. Yeah. And the driveway is going to, like you said, be closer to the existing. Um, Grade, right, right. Um, that's what the, that's what this drawing shows. It's not showing manipulating. I think any where grades. he's got the septic and the wall. Obviously, it's a wall. I think with the driveway, I think that part of it is okay. And I guess the the feeling here is just the this proposal of the 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 house itself, the thirty six twenty eight. How he's going to cut that back? And I think he said thirty two twenty six. Correct. This whole thing is to come back again another month, and if I go to 20 and 19 okay. is better, then I have to draw it again. So I, somebody could shoot a number out there. We could, you know. So can I ask, right. how, yeah. how high is the wall, the, the septic wall? So the septic wall, if is you look at the existing grade at 74 mm -hmm. in the far right, Se perforated, that's two feet. Two, okay. two feet. Okay. Top of wall. Yeah, that's okay, that's so what I just wanted to. So it's not, it's sometimes they do up to four feet. Uh, that's just what the water table makes it do. But uh, in this case, it's two feet. Do I have any comment from the folks that maybe have a problem with this? If there's a dimensional, if there's a dimensional offer that the applicant could make that would be palatable, and we could incorporate that into a motion, or would the or would the board rather see a plan? I mean, I'm, I'm deferring. I'm deferring to the folks that have a problem with the project. I just want to move the case along, and if there's something that that can be done tonight, okay. fine. If there's not, I'm, I'm basing my comments on this. This this floor plan that was submitted, yeah, is a mo as the applicant said, is a modified plan. Yep. The original house was a three bedroom house. Yep. This plan, and it was 26 feet wide. We're talking about a two bedroom house. Yeah. I think the house can be less than 26. I know you said that. To I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not here to to design the house. I'm just here to say that based on what I have in front of me, I, I, in and based on the, the, the way this imposes on the street, I think it can be again significantly smaller. Again, but in, the, but, it, but but in the past, in the past, we have reduced the scope and size of projects by motion. If, if there's a scope and size of this project that the two members who have already voiced opposition find palatable, maybe we could compose that into a motion. If not, we don't have to. We can deny it or we can let the applicant come back, go back to the drawing board if that's what the board wants to do. I just want to, I just want to move it along. Quick question, Mike. On the height, I guess Tony has an issue also with the height. What, what, how could you, could you cut that in any? I see it's a spl uh, split cape, it almost looks like, correct? This I don't have one. This is it. It's not a split cape. It's colonial. Oh, it's a colonial. Okay, yeah, colonial. A colonial yeah. um, it has a walk-up right, attic, right. so if we reduce the width, there won't be a walk-up attic. We could lower the roof pitch to an eight-pitch roof. Um, it would it would drop down considerably. In my feeling, too, the further it gets away from Patterson, the, the less concerned I am on the height of the house. Why is that? Because it's further away from the street. Yeah, I, but I don't think it looks any better. I, I just, I'm one. just, I'm trying to be fair and reasonable. Mm -hmm. The further it gets away from the street, the less concerned I am about the height. Makes sense. Oof, or, you, or if it, if it happened, if it was, yeah, if, so if, if it was, if it was tight to the other property line, I would have the same concern. <coughs> if it was tight to the to the neighbor's setback line, if it was six feet off the neighbor's setback line, I'd have the same concern on that side as I would on the street side. So how, how many feet do you need to be off lot lines? 15. To meet to meet 15. to meet zoning is 15, but it's is it's existing feet? non 15 in this okay. in this zone. So, but it but I'm not saying, and I've never have stated that I want it to be 15. I've never never stated that. I've never said it. 
But oh, no, I know, but so I mean, <laughs> where do you push it? I have a number. If, if I made the house 20 feet wide, because I just built a 20 foot wide house and actually worked out pretty cool, um, but extended the length to 44 feet. One floor? 44, so 20 by 44. But one, but one floor? Definitely not one floor, two story house. So 20, 20, 20 feet wide? Yeah. He basically has, he, he, within point one, you meet, you don't even have to come here. Because. Uh, well, I'm off of Addison, I need a full, yeah. I need well, a full sidewalk. Right? No, you, if, you, if you reduce the house to 20, if I already, I already did the calculation. If you reduce the house to 20 feet wide, your, 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 your setback would be almost 14, would be 14.9. So you'd, would you be within a few inches of actually meeting the setback? And not even having to come before this board. But isn't Patterson considered a, a, a front yard? I apologize. Uh, I apologize. Yeah. Yes, it's a front. It's a thirty. No. You're right. No, I, I wish you were right because I just I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's my fault. That would be um, thirty. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, yeah. So I I I, I would be happy. I can build a nine, twenty foot wide, but if I can extend the length to forty four, we can get in there what we need, um, and um, that would work. See, I disagree with the height where I, I wouldn't be opposed to the 20 by the 44 by one floor. It's a two bedroom. It's just two yeah, bedroom. You can't, can't make it all work in there. Cause so, so right now, so right now you got a bungalow and you, you're like doubling it. It's a two story. There's two bedrooms the, on the second floor. The three wow. bedrooms or something. So, Yes. Mm. Well, it's a lot smaller than the Colonial. Mm. Right. Well, you originally said, I thought you said you, you possibly could do a 26 by 32. Could you do that? I mean, I, I thought you gave us those measurements a while ago. Earlier in the conversation I did, because I'm, I'm yeah. building a house in another town right now, that's a 26 by 32, and I actually have that plan here, could, too. Cause could that fit like right here? Yeah, we have. I mean, I like, I'll be honest with you, I, I like the layout, because you got the 40 feet set back from the top, from the, for the septic. You got a 15 foot uh, setback on that back property line. You got 15 feet on the neighbor's side, and the driveway would be existing grade, and the only thing you got, approached on is Patterson and you're showing six nine and the existing house that's here now is only five one. I mean it's pretty well tweaked as far as you, you know getting a, a house in there. So the, if you could cut it down to the square footage that you just gave us, if you could, 34 26, it's almost matching what's here now. 26 8 by 31 4. Mm -hmm. So you're very close to the existing house that's there. So the only question I see now is becoming agreement on height with the, with few members. So then you you'd be opposed to putting a cape. We, we had this um, in the past. I had another narrow house, and the cape style house doesn't work in a twenty foot wide. It just it just doesn't it just doesn't work. I mean, by the time you bring that steep roof in, you lose the whole second floor. So. You're gonna be dormer dormer. I honestly believe that if you're going with um, aesthetically to, or not more detrimental, that house, the colonial is too big. Well, just on the more detrimental thing, if on Patterson there's three colonials that are much bigger than this house here, or at least the size I'm proposing, or bigger. I'm not, I'd actually measure them, but I have pictures of those too, so. On the same size lot? I don't know how big the lots are, so. I mean, I, I, I keep these with me all the time. I have a number of examples of three bedroom houses. I know this is only a two bedroom house mm -hmm. that that fit in 20 by 36 or 20 by 20, 28 foot footprints. Um, they're out there, they're, they're right off of plan books. And um, so, especially with this being a two bedroom house, I, I, you know, I think, I, I think it's, I think it's possible to do. And, and I'm not necessarily, if you get to a house that's this size, I'm okay with two stories. Um, because I think now we've, 
we've gone somewhere between this and what was there originally. We're kind of in the middle. We're not telling you to put back a one-story house. And this is just my thinking. Not telling you to put back a one-story house, saying, okay, you know, let's get up with the times, let's build a two-story house, um, and let's build something bigger. Um, I, I think it's reasonable. Um, that's, that's my feeling. Um, so I, I'm not so harsh that I'm going to say it has to be one story. I think I disagree because I think you could build a two-bedroom house on one story that's either a split or a ranch um, but, or, a, or a dormant cape. Um, but, you know, I, I think you should, my opinion is you should go back and look at it again and come back with something that is, is, is not if I so of the end. Oops, sorry to interrupt you. If I accept a footprint of 20 by 36, would I close the meeting tonight? Or not the close the meeting, excuse me, would that? That would certainly address my concern of the, of the, of the, the imposing nature of it on Patterson Street. And it, it substantially, in, in my opinion, substantially takes not substantially, but it, it takes the scale of this house down to something that's that's more appropriate for the size lot. Do you want to take make a motion of that? Well, I, no. Well, I still, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go. We need to get a new set of drawings and a new site plan that reflect. I'm not going to vote and approve it tonight. We need a new set of drawings that are dated and, and everything. It Do you has. want to make a motion to continue the hearing to allow the applicant to su supplement the record with revised plans in accordance with what you just discussed? I, I, I would be, yeah, I could make a motion. So I'll make a motion to continue the case to allow the applicant to revise the site plan and floor plans to reflect a smaller structure which he's indicated uh, could be 20 by 36 feet. Second. We have a second on that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. Back to the drawing board. So I guess we do have another case on September 11th, Kelly. Can you do it by September 11th? Uh, yes. Okay. When, when do I have to submit plans, Mike? <laughs> yeah. uh, if I you can't, we'll just I kick it out. I mean, no. It's up to you. Next week after no. If you can do it by, give me two weeks so I can give it to planning. So for their recommendations. Well, I'm doing a house plan. Oh, that's right. It's got to go, well, it's gotta go to planning. Yeah, too. but I, I, I think, in my opinion, we've already gotten planning's comments on them. And planning's comments, I think, are being addressed. Okay. Yeah, but we still when, don't know with the new plan whether they, they feel that it's, it's Well, if adequate. he comes up with a new plan, it, it's going to be less satisfied. It, it's going to satisfy the planning board's comments. It's, it's going to it's going to it's going to it's going to increase the setback yeah. on pa pa Patterson. I, I just I just don't understand how you have a planning board that's supposed to vote on approval or not recommend approval and don't come up with anything and and actually give it to us and say these are my concerns you figure it out that, all right, so, never all right, so we voted we're continuing this matter to september 11th unanimously i would um i would urge you to get your plans ready in the appropriate timetable so we can all get it in in time um, thank you very much all right take care well, no, I, I think I'm that. next. Oh, no, 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 that's right. You got one more. Mr. Uh, yeah. Excuse myself on the next one. Yes, uh, Mr. Lepore wishes to recuse himself on this case, which is 1019, Map 88, Parcel 8946, Michael Welch, 9 Pine Ridge Road. It's also continued from the July, 19, uh, July 2019 meeting to acquire a special permit in accordance with 6.1.6.4 to extend a non conforming structure. We have the the current, the updated. Is there any changes that have been made from what we had gotten before? Okay. I think this was the same case that we were waiting for planning. Right. So why don't you hand me my little cheat sheet so I can read their recommendation into the record too? Just, and this is just as a, as a general thing. All the packages the last the 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 That's why I was laughing. Just as a general, just as a general proposition, Kelly, can you see if you can get this to me via email prior to the meeting? 
Yeah, I thought I did. Didn't yeah, I, I didn't. Sorry. I'm, I did. Maybe you did. Maybe it went, I'll check it. But. That's okay. Okay. Um, on this particular case, on the August 7th, 2019 meeting of the um, planning board, Town of Wilmington Planning Board, on the case 1019, signed 6 Pine Ridge Road, map 88, parcel 8946, it was upon duly made and seconded unanimously to recommend approval. The modest increase in height within the same footprint does not appear to be more detrimental to the neighborhood. So there you go, there's your approval. There's your, at least, a, a affirmative statement one way or the other. All right. Now, does anybody from the board wish to ha ask the applicant any questions on this particular case before I open it up to uh, open and then close, hopefully, the public hearing? So these plans, what changed? What was changed? The only thing that changed was that we didn't have the planning mm -hmm. boards. From um, last meeting? Yeah, yes. that's why I was laughing From earlier because I, I didn't submit till like two days before the meeting because I, I didn't get any of my information till two days so before So nothing the has changed. Nothing you has submitted changed. The, the same plans that we were provided. You provided. The only difference is you got the planning board's take on them. Okay. We like we had them last month. Hmm. So this is a, that's not it. Oh. Yeah. Um, you can get yeah. Tony back right. kids if All you right. want. Right. Yeah. But what the applicant's saying is, is the plans that we had at the last meeting were the exact oh. same as the ones we're voting on tonight, except for the fact that we didn't have the benefit of the planning board's recommendation. Okay. And now the planning board is recommending a, a unanimous approval. Anybody have any questions or comments of the applicant? It's, I think it's straightforward. It's just a little okay. bit of info. All right, well, we can come back. I'll open up the public hearing. Is anyone here from the public that wishes to be heard on this particular matter? If so, stand and please tell us your name and where you live and have at it. Going once, going twice. Public hearing is closed. We're coming back to the board for any further discussion, deliberation, questions, so I have, or I have motion. A question. Uh, sure. where, where's the septic on this one? Oh. It's in the rear yard. Does it show here on the plan? Um, on the plot plan? Uh, yeah, it's on. No, it doesn't. But well, it's, I'll come to you. You don't have a problem with that. Because it's, it's just adding to an existing house. But it's, it's not. A, it's not a new construction. It's not new construction. Yeah. To me, it's all he's doing is Tom. They looked at all he's doing is I'm trying to remember. I was ready to vote on it last month. Um, all he's all he's doing is putting he's putting a second floor on an existing footprint, and it's not even a full second floor. It's a partial second floor. So I I, I mean I think it's. Very reasonable, and I don't have any issue with it at all. It's not, I don't think he's even changing the footprint. The comment on the septic on the uh, septic lily just got finished today. The final piece of the electrical. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Tom, my comment I made earlier okay. more applies to when we're doing tear downs where they're, they're taking out new a construction. Two, right. two bedroom house and they're putting back a three bedroom house, and that. That to me is it's more um, it's more important. I mean, had we voted on that previously, we would have. It was a different case. So. Okay. So, so can I ask? So the so you're not moving um, the foundation is nothing. You're only just building up. The only thing that's added is the second floor. I'm sorry, I don't have like this new stuff on the line, but I think um, there's a little something then, off the back too, like real tiny 17. little thing. If I'm not mistaken, that, that those are all that's all existing. That's, that's all existing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the uh, no, just the no, second floor. It's an existing cape, and half of it's going to turn uh, into uh, all that other stuff is there. That's all existing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm good. Anyone else? Anyone care to make a motion? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, go ahead. What, what's existing foundation to be removed? Was that was an old garage that they? Oh, are they going to just sit, move it, clear it out? Okay, go. Okay. Okay, cool. Done. Um, I'll make a motion. Um, I'll make a motion to approve um, case ten nineteen. 
um, to acquire a special permit in accordance with 6.1.6.4 to extend a non-conforming <coughs> structure as, as plans were per, um, submitted. submitted. Okay, Ms. Santini made a motion. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. It's approved. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Do we have one? Uh, uh, four, yeah. Uh, four. Right. Four. Four. Right. Four. 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 Thank you. Yep. Okay. The last case on the docket is uh, case 1719, uh, so map 44A, parcel 11. Andrew, I believe it's Roya. Is that correct? All right. 7 Dorchester Street to acquire a special permit in accordance with 6.1.6.4 to extend a non-conforming structure. Good evening, Mr. Roya. How are you? And what's your name, sir? Robert MacArthur. Hi, Robert. Why don't you let us know what you're seeking? Well, we're seeking to put an addition on the house, and we come to find out that uh, we can reach the setbacks on the, uh, the left and right and the rear. But for some reason, your setback requirements are 50 feet frontage in, on this particular property. It was an R60? Yeah. yeah. Which is pretty excessive because two thirds of the building is already encroaching into that 50 feet. Right. So right now, the building sits at 11 feet. And our addition would come into it, uh, would leave 19 feet. So we're not really asking to go out you know, to the 11 feet, you know. But I think that's the only snag in this whole thing is just that frontage. Yeah. All right, I'll write, read the planning board's recommendation into the record. Uh, at their meeting on August 7th, the planning board on case 1719 for 7 Dorchester Street, map 11, parcel 44A, upon duly made and seconded, they unanimously voted to recommend approval. The proposed addition conforms to all setbacks except the front, where it is less non-conforming than the existing house and does not appear to be more detrimental to the neighborhood. What's the uh, current dimensions on the, on the existing house on that setback? 11 feet in the front. And your proposed addition 19. is 12. 19? Oh, with the deck, yes. Okay. Yeah. Can, can I uh, just ask a question? Sure. So the, um, the new addition is going to be uh, basically set over the, what looks like the existing driveway? Yes, the driveway would then be moved over. Okay, so. He has two driveways. Right. Uh, well, is the driveway in front of the, the, um, the detached garage? Yes. Um, my only, my only comment is that, um, is that I'm sorry I don't have my glasses. Is that 19 or 15 feet? The, not, I can't it, not, read that. I can't read that. No, Which one? Tiny. What is the setback on the front? 19. 19. 19. Uh, I just recall that um, on a case several months ago that the engineering or somebody made a comment that a driveway needs to be a certain depth off the house. I mean, I mean, not from the street inward, so that cars aren't basically bumping into the right of way. I'm just, that was. Well, um, we just talked about this for some reason. I don't know why it came up, not this at all, but um, planning board said it has to be wide enough. There's no real set dimensions. Well, wide enough, but he has to be Wide enough to enough fit one car. Yeah. And it can be long enough to accommodate up to three cars. But there's no set dimensions on how far back it has to go. I'm just or the size of I'm it. I'm just um it's my only comment is that it is that you've is that there's a there's a driveway there now that is cut off at a certain point. I'm Yeah, but we have twenty if we add this building we still have over 20 feet from the new building to that existing driveway in front of the garage. We have all that space still. So basically it's gonna be the same driveway sitting in the middle. We're gonna move it over 12 feet. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna take the, the driveway that right now cuts through the addition. Yes. And you're gonna move it 
outward of the addition. Yes. You know, yes. you know, because it doesn't show that on the plan. It shows yeah. the, it shows the driveway, kind of staying, and then what looks like a walkway going along the side of the, uh, side of the addition. No, to get the driveway the would be moved over twelve feet. Okay. That's my concern. Anyone else? On the board wish to be heard so so what you just said is that on the plan it's not on the plan okay so we're back we're back to the issue you talked about for the last I Tom this is a problem with all applications that come into this board is that the applications in the drawings do not reflect the work that's going to be done and this is a it's a it's a good point and I'm, I don't want to be the, the one that keeps telling people to come back with revised drawings, but if we do it enough, people aren't going to come before this board unless the drawings are right. Or you can, or you can craft a motion, which specifically addresses the ambiguity in the drawing. And I'm not willing to do that any longer on this board. I think we need to have a, I, need, I think we need to have a drawing that that represents what is going to be built, and and we can't. I don't want to verbally any longer make substantial changes to a plan and right, I, so what's your position on this particular application um, because it's a driveway right and not part of the structure okay. I would be comfortable stating that the driveway needs to be moved outside the footprint of the house of the addition and that a revised plan be submitted for record reflecting that and then, but, but my feeling is somebody has to review that plan and there needs to be checks and balances to see that that plan actually came in and that it reflects the change that we talked about. Would that, would that be within Al's, Al's responsibilities? It should be. Okay. But if it's in the minutes, doesn't that mean it has to happen? No, minutes. minutes if it's in the decision, decision, if it's in the decision, it does. Let me, before we go on, let me see if there's anybody from the audience that wishes to be heard. Do you wish to be heard on this? Okay. Okay. No problem. So I'm going to close the public hearing, and then I'll, I'll we'll bring it back to the board. Yeah, minutes minutes are not the decision. The the decision gets filed with the registry of deeds. So what's your? Oh, can I speak? Of course. What's your position on coming back with a revised plan? To well, show? The, pro the, pr the problem we're having is one. We already have another driveway here. You know what I'm saying? So this driveway. If we even decide to put it in there, it would be a plus. I don't see why that should hold back the plan. And he has to finish up his finance, and he can't get his financing until he gets this approval. So now we're going to be another month out. We want to break ground before winter, you know, and get this thing framed in before the holidays. So we're kind of like, if we have to wait another month, I mean, you, you we're into springtime. If, if I understand correctly, you're you're stating that the existing driveway is coming up and going and going to be moved or well, eliminated completely. Well, we have another driveway here, so if we eliminate that driveway, which we have to, there's nothing saying that we have to put the driveway back. I understand, but I what I'm my concern is is leaving a short, stubby driveway that could potentially have car hanging out too far into the street oh no this would all this pavement would come up in front of this garage they, they, that would be grass and okay. whatever. so I'm, what I'm, I'm okay stating in our decision that the existing driveway that that's under the footprint of the addition will be completely removed as part of the project I'm okay yeah. stating that and voting on it tonight do you want to make a motion to that effect uh, are, are, are other members comfortable yeah, with that? Yeah, I am. Um, what do you think? I have no problem with it. It's a driveway. Right. Well, only because they got the other driveway over there. If they, you know, so they have a driveway. As long as it's stated that the other driveway is coming out, it looks like they have to take the driveway. I mean, it's not out something that's not on the plan. It's just ambiguous as what's going to happen. Gonna remove, after the, right. He's going to remove yeah. all of this, so that ambiguity can be anyway so that ambiguity building. can be clarified in a decision. The plan actually shows everything, but you have to have a question: what's going to happen with that? Mm -hmm. And that can be cleared up by way of motion. I believe that's my opinion. The other issue too is the driveway is less than 12 feet. 
but we're putting a 12 foot footprint on there. You know what I'm saying? So if the driveway right now is 10 feet off the house and we're putting 12 feet, the driveway has to be removed anyway. This line doesn't represent the driveway. Whoever did this plot plan we paid to have this plot plan done. So you're saying the driveway that's shown on there isn't accurate? <laughs> this isn't this isn't a driveway. Because it's see how it wraps you around the house. Can I just yeah. Oh, yeah, you can use this. Yeah, he's got a lot bigger than that. <coughs> see how this line wraps around the house? Yeah, that's okay with that. So all of this is gonna come up. Right, right, right. I'm okay making a motion yeah. Have at it. Um, I'd like to make a motion to approve case 17 19 to um, acquire a special permit in accordance with 6.1.6.4 to extend a non conforming structure with the condition that the, arrow. Yes, the southernmost driveway, which um, is partially under the footprint of the addition is completely removed. Do we have a second on that second. motion? We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Right. Unanimous. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Kelly, do we have any administrative business to take we care do. of? We do. What do we got? I have uh, minutes and some decisions from last week. Oh, do you have any draft uh, decisions, decisions you need me to sign today? From this week, yeah. Okay. All right, why don't we do the minutes first in uh, chronological order? How many right. sets do we have? Three. <coughs> okay. You said two, right? Three. May, June, and July. Oh, I got Why don't we take them up in successive order? All right. We have, uh, is there a motion to approve? May. The, I believe, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes? For May, June, and July, I believe they've been circulated to all the members. Has anyone had um, the ability? Has everyone had the ability to review them? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, with regard to May, is there a motion to approve those minutes? Motion to approve the minutes for May. May 2019. We have a second. All those in favor? Unanimous. And now about uh, June. June. Likewise, has everyone had an opportunity to review the minutes? of June 2019. If not, I have them here. Yes. Okay, do we have a motion with regard to June? Motion to accept the June minutes second. of 2019. And we have a second. All those in favor? That's unanimous. Right. And, and then July. finally for July, July same yeah. thing. Has everyone had an opportunity to review the July minutes? We're handing them to uh, Mr. Syracuse so he can take a peek at them. Has everyone else had the ability to review them? If not, you can do that now. Okay, so and then as far as Pine Ridge, they did, in fact, approve Pine Ridge. Um, okay. They said didn't have enough time, but they did come back. And, okay, good. Good. Okay. Yeah. You satisfied, Tom? Yes. yes All right. Sir. Do we have a motion with regard to the July minutes of 2019? Uh, motion to approve the July minutes, 2019. Do we have a second on that? Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. The minutes have been approved. Aye. Kelly, do you have any decisions that I should I be reviewing and signing so now? Decisions from tonight. There should be only two of them, right? Well, three. Cause well, the other one was continued, right? Wasn't it? No, we had three. We had, um, we had uh, Grant Street, uh, Pine Ridge. And what's this one? No, Grant Street. We continue. Grant Street's continued. I'm sorry. Yeah. So give me back that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. <laughs> all right. And there are your decisions. Do we have any other business before the board? We don't. All right, and no, seeing no other administrative business, the docket's been concluded. Actually, so since we're going to probably have Grant um, next month, uh -huh. do we want to do the executive session earlier? Good point. Yeah, well, why don't we... Um, Six? Yeah, it's going to need a good hour. 
Because Jonathan Silverstein yeah, wanted me to reach out with him. Too. Yeah, reach out to him to let Jonathan know okay. that his presence would be respectfully requested at 6 o'clock on September 11th, 2019. Also, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So also, I would also recommend that um, Ms. O'Mahony be in attendance as she was part of that mediation i i don't know if that's appropriate because it's well, before the board of mediation but it's for the board of it's the meeting of the board of appeals well i mean we've hit, we've been in an executive session with the board of select i don't feel pro, i don't feel that's appropriate myself if you if the board wishes to vote on that i think that's fine but i i really believe that this is something that should be handled by the board of appeals but well we'll put it up for the, well i'll put it up for a vote if you want to put it up for a vote I just thought it would be a cross-reference of, um, you know, somebody else that was there. Uh, yeah, but this is a this is the this is a decision that weighs on our hands. <coughs> so I, I believe, but if but if the board wishes to vote to allow a member of the board of selectmen to be at our executive session, so, then so, so what, make the what make the motion. What do you guys think? What do you think? I just feel they weren't involved. I mean, for you know through the process and then they had their own executive sessions and we haven't been invited to the last we only one time I think we've been invited right off the the uh, impact of it so I, I I don't know I don't see any um, reason why to bring her in I'm not sure what she where she, what is she gonna add to our discussion I don't I don't Get it? Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I defer to Dan's, Dan's discretion on this one. If it's not appropriate, it's not appropriate. Okay. okay. So um, we're going to then have the executive session at six. Inform um, Attorney Silverstein, as well as Council, who is here tonight, mm -hmm. and then we'll have our regularly scheduled meeting with so far only one matter on the docket at seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, anyone care to make a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. All those in favor? All right. See you next month, everybody.